Hi everyone, thanks for watching. This is lesson number two for how to play a C blues using a C and an F and a G chord for the beginner level-ish uh, guitar player. So lesson one went over the form of 12 bar blues, a couple little tricks, a couple little fills. Lesson number two gets a little more complicated. Today we're gonna to work a little bit on the hammer on. is adding one more note into your yesterday we added B flat or yeah yesterday it was yesterday now we're going to add in some more notes to the scale C D and E flat so our scale is going to go Put the B in. All right, so let's say you can do all of it. You can go C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, B if you want, C, D, and E flat. So um, it's going to go something like this. You have a measure of a chord. form that time a little bit but I just want you to hear the fills and the scale and how it all goes together so let's make it um consistent if we start on the highest note of the scale and go one one and two and three and four and that's going to be our fill every time one and two and three and four and E flat D C B flat A G F E all eighth notes one and two and three and four and and then one measure of chord one two three and four one and two and three and four and and I didn't go over the hammer-ons, but I think you can see what I'm doing. I'm picking the root note, strum, take your middle -ish finger off out of your chord, pick the open string, hammer it on. That's your C chord on F, same idea. You pick the fourth string, take off this middle finger, hammer it on. And on your G chord, this finger in the middle, regardless of how you hold it, enjoyed this lesson and the one before it if you didn't um, see it and you need it get watch it it was pretty good um, have a great day play a lot of guitar so uh, stay tuned for lesson number three it'll get a little more complicated um, C blues really a lot of fun